A little while ago, I explained how protons and neutrons are actually made up of three quarks. That was for Lucan. Now let's take it a little bit further, as that's not quite the whole story. Oh, and this one's for Riley. The picture that mesons consist of a quark-antiquark pair, while sparions consist of three quarks, is enough to explain many properties of the hadrons. However, this simple picture is not quite accurate. A more accurate picture is that baryons are made up of three valence quarks, plus a sea of quarks, antiquarks, and gluons. The term valence quark is based on the valence electrons of atomic physics. These are the outer shell electrons, which are responsible for the chemical properties of atoms. Valence quarks are quarks that determine the most important properties of a hadron, such as mass, momentum, electric charge, and spin. However, this is only a simplified approximation, since according to the theory of strong interaction, known as quantum chromodynamics, or QCD, the valence quarks in the hadron also interact with virtual quark-antiquark pairs, the sea of quarks, and virtual gluons. These virtual particles derive from the quark-gluon field, which constantly creates quarks, antiquarks, and gluons, which are then destroyed and created again. Let's take the mass of a proton as an example. It cannot stem solely from the three valence quarks. Their combined mass is only one one-hundredth the mass of a proton. But the energy within a proton is immense, primarily stemming from the kinetic energy of quarks and the potential energy associated with the strong force binding them. This energy contributes significantly to the proton's mass, as described by Einstein's famous mass-energy equivalence equation, E equals mc squared. So, in actuality, it is the sea of quark-antiquark pairs that really determine the mass of the proton. To sum up, protons aren't made of just three quarks. They are made of three valence quarks, as well as a sea of hundreds or even thousands of virtual quark-antiquark pairs, and all the gluons that are associated with them as the carriers of the strong force. But hey, who said quantum mechanics wasn't fun? If you, if you like this video, punch that like button! If you want to see more videos, smash that subscribe!